now. Good evening, everyone. Wish TV proud to be the local official broadcast partner of the 2022 College Football Playoff Indianapolis Host Committee. And we start tonight at 5 o'clock with a contingency plan for the national championship game that will be played right here in Indianapolis. So here's a look at the scenarios. All right, we'll put them up here. Uh, if a team in the semifinals can't play because of COVID-19, you see it here, that team will forfeit and the other will move on. If both teams can't play, the team winning the other semifinal would be declared national champion. If three of the four teams can't play, the one that can will be declared national champion as well. If a team in the national championship can't play, the game will be rescheduled, but no later than Friday, January 14th. Now, if a team still can't play, they will forfeit and the other team will be crowned national champion. Kind of confusing, I know. If neither team can play due to the virus, there will be no national champion this year. The FDA has approved Pfizer's COVID-19 pill, and it's the first U.S. authorized at-home treatment for the virus. The prescription pill is also the first medication in the country that does not require injection or IV. Pfizer says initial supplies of the pill will be extremely limited, with enough only to treat tens of thousands of people. The pill is approved for people 12 and older. Patients will need a positive COVID-19 test in order to get a prescription. All right, let's welcome in WISH TV medical expert and former Surgeon General, Dr. Jerome Adams now. Doc, always good to see you. Happy holidays. Uh, we just talked about the Pfizer. Very good. Uh, we just talked about the Pfizer at home pill. How significant is this and, and what does this mean for the current surge in patients? Well, it's good news that we're now getting more treatments available for people particularly if we're seeing this surge coming on us. But I, I want to put it in practical terms for you. The fact is that you can't get the pill if you can't get a test. And right now we can't get a test, number one. Number yeah. two, as you heard Alexis lay out, there's only going to be about 10,000 doses for very, very high risk people. And so the truth is we're probably going to be beyond this Omicron surge by the time we actually get enough tests and enough pills for this to have a meaningful difference for us. That Still good news that we have something. Yeah, that being said, though, your reaction to the president's announcement yesterday that more COVID tests are coming. Well, again, good news that the administration is finally uh, looking at this as a priority. I and other people across the nation have been saying this for months. Uh, they announced 500 million tests, a half a billion tests that would be, be made available, but they won't be made available until January, number one. Number two, 500 million sounds like a lot. That's less than two tests per American citizen. And you're supposed to take a test one day and a test next day for the rapid test to actually give you um, uh, really reliable results. Mm. So it's not as much as we need, but it's a step in the right direction. So in your opinion, is lack of tests so far a failure by government leaders? Well, this one I'll be quick on, Phil. Absolutely. It, it is a failure. Yeah, I, I'm talking to people literally on a hour by hour basis um, in my family, in my in my neighborhood, at work, who are telling me, hey, I've got symptoms, what do I do, doc? Um, and they can't find a test. That be, So uh, what's the advice that, that you give to someone right now who thinks maybe they have COVID, not feeling well, wants a test before going to a family function with the holidays coming up this weekend? Uh, what do you tell them? Well, go to the State Department of Health website, look up the nearest site to you. And, and in some cases, I know people have had to drive 40 minutes away to get a test that day. But there are still some testing sites you can go to, number one. Number two, if you can't get a test, you need to act as if you've had COVID in the meantime. That means isolate yourself. That means wear a mask if you're at all concerned about an exposure uh, when you're going around other people. Act as if you have COVID, particularly if you're going around other people who are at risk. I don't know if you heard the very top of the show, but uh, college football playoffs here in Indianapolis could be delayed or even canceled based on COVID cases among athletes. What about fans, in your opinion? Do you, do you have concerns about those major events, including NFL and NBA games and the spread of Omicron? Well, I absolutely do now when we look at how infectious Omicron is. 1% three weeks ago, 13% two weeks ago, 73% a week ago, and now over 90% of cases here in the Midwest, Omicron. The fact is we all have a date with Omicron. It's just a matter of whether or not you're gonna be protected. So get your vaccine. Get your booster, which gives you additional protection against Omicron. But be aware that if you go into a crowd, particularly right now in this surge, it's likely you're going to be exposed. So you don't want to go, expo go, go in there if you're at risk. You want to make a smart decision. You don't want to go there if you're bringing it back home to someone who's at risk. And you don't want to go in that kind of environment 
if you're not maximally protected with a vaccine and a booster. Hospitalizations, as you very well know, hovering right around 3,000 here in Indiana. The U.S. Navy now sending personnel to help IU Methodist Hospital. Are, are we at the worst uh, of the surge, or is there unfortunately more to come? Well, I wanted to end on good news, but unfortunately I can. I've been in the hospital twice this week working. The hospitals are preparing for this surge. They're pulling out their emergency response um, uh, systems. And as you heard, the Navy's coming. FEMA's been called. We're going to continue to see this Delta surge that hit us hard play out over another one to three weeks because these people are still in the hospital. They're still holding up the hospital. And if we have a big surge of Delta patients, even though the, the virus may be a slight bit milder, it's four to five times more infectious. That could be the straw that breaks the camel's back. So please get vaccinated, be safe, make smart decisions this holiday season. Dr. Adams, always good to see you. Happy holidays, sir. Thank you. And we can get through it safely if we just use the tools we have. So I don't want to be dour. I want you all to understand we will, we can get through this. We need to pull together and have a happy holiday season. Yeah, no doubt. All right, doctor. Good to see you.